When I'm done, I'll go like that. You know what I mean? One of those. Test one, two, three, testing. Five, one, four, two, three, three, testing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Testing one, two, testing, three. Testing five, four. Test, test, we good? Testing five, four, three, two, and one. <clears throat> testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Test <coughs> one, two, three, we're good? All right. <clears throat> oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Four minutes late. Let's go. <laughs> We're, We're ready. ready. Welcome back to the Wonderland of Ice as we settle in for this interesting matchup. Don Bosco Prep, the Ironman from New Jersey, taking on the Jesuits of Fairfield Prep. Don Boyle, Sean McGrath. Alongside for the call of this one, we're seeing one of New Jersey's best take on Connecticut's best here tonight. That's always an exciting thing to see, especially in, in high school hockey when you have a team from another state like New Jersey. Don Bosco, a very well-known program in all the sports that they have going on there at that school. Them to come here to Connecticut, take on Fairfield Prep, a very storied hockey program in their own right here in Connecticut. It, it should be an excellent matchup and an excellent gauge to see how high school hockey is in the state of New Jersey and how it stands here in the state of Connecticut. Well, it's interesting for the Jesuits of Fairfield Prep. They beat Del Barton at the Mount St. Charles tournament in the championship game. Took them to overtime, the traditional powerhouse in the state of New Jersey. And, of course, uh, they come in at 10-0. They are unbeaten, taking on this Don Bosco team. Picked up their 10th win last night against four losses and three ties. Yeah, I mean, both teams are rolling right along this year. So, I mean, this is one of those matchups. Whoever has the higher energy right off the bat is probably going to find the success. We're underway, and uh, immediately the Ironmen trying to show their strength with a check, and here's David White controlling, centers it in front. Connor Henry tried to splash it towards goal. It was deflected to the back wall and the puck to the far side. Lucio in goal down to our right. He's a good one. He's a veteran for the Ironmen of Don Bosco, and in goal Matt Beck for the Jesuits of Fairfield Prep. As we're underway here in the opening moments, and the puck is played out through center ice. Is collected and played along by Brown to the near side. Bumped ahead by Sean Henry. Connor Henry could not contain it. Now Sean Henry. He'll lug it along. The veteran defenseman to the left wing wall to the corner. Centers it to the top of the goal mouth. Comes to Connor Henry. Pokes at it. It's to the side of the net. Michio will play it to the near wall. And it's collected there by the Ironman as they try to maintain some possession. Lapino played it along to the far side. It was tipped further ahead by Rometta, and now it's turned back towards the goaltender. Now to play, and we'll have a faceoff upcoming here. We played nearly a minute, and we are scoreless shot. And you see goaltender there for Bosco there, and Jared Lishko. He is a junior goaltender for this team. He has three shutouts on this season, and in two and a half years of play, or I should say three and a half years of play as a starter, 15 career shutouts. Yeah, he's a good one. A good size. Between the pipes there for the Ironman. Here's a steal, and Wickman worked it to the front of the net, and that loose puck 
trying to contain it was coaches it's finally in on the goaltender and Licio will tie it up but yet another face off is right now Fairfield prep coming out quickly course directed by head coach Matt Sather he's been at it since the year 2000 once played for Fairfield prep so he certainly has the Jesuit blood running through. Hey, he definitely does, and I got a chance to talk to him before this game, and the one thing, or the two things he stressed to me before this game is energy and enthusiasm. That's what he wants to see out of his team. The ball will play it around, finally taken there by the Ironman, trying to get it out. There's a big check thrown along the board by Lockery. Finally, a long shot in on Beck, and he'll steer that away as Christopher Carroll, the senior forward with the opportunity, having a pretty good year with seven points coming in to today's play. And the first faceoff down in the Fairfield prep zone. And that was the first shot you've seen on Matt Beck, the junior goaltender for the Jesuits of Fairfield prep. And he's 4-0 as a goaltender. Uh, he splits time with Gutierrez. Chris Gutierrez is the other goaltender, also a junior that he splits time with. Both those goaltenders, as you know, this team's undefeated with Fairfield Prep. They're both 4-0 when they're in the net. I have been back in their own zone. It's Connor Healy trying to play it through some traffic in the corner. Finally, the Ironman will play it to the line. Stopped there by Brown. Shot towards goal, and that dangerously deflected off the skate of Hansen and out of play. Another faceoff down inside the Don Bosco end. Scoreless here in the first 13-13 remaining. And it's sort of an interesting feeling out process in this game. You have teams from two different states, two different styles of hockey you might see out there that uh, you might have to get used to. Neither coach on either side real familiar with either team. So it was going to say the first five, six minutes, uh, sort of a feeling out process to uh, where you're going to be at in this game. Now Gagno trying to get it out. Now it's to the far side, taken there by Beerman. Big, tall defenseman wears a C on the jersey for the Ironman of Don Bosco. Here's a shot from the blue line by Henry. Tipped on goal and a score. And quickly, one to nothing. Matt McKinney, I believe, will be credited with the goal as Sean Henry just threw it towards net. And Fairfield prep with a one nothing lead. Yeah, Sean Henry was out by the blue line. And Matt McKinney was right out in front of the mouth of the net, right in front of goaltender Lishko. And... He was in the right place at the right time to score his third goal of the season for Matt McKinney, the junior forward. Comes two minutes and ten seconds into the first period and Fairfield prep on top quickly one to nothing. This is Connor Henry now. Plays it back to the line. DeMore trying to keep it in. It slipped off his stick. He maneuvers through center and he's tripped up. We've got a penalty upcoming here to the Ironman as uh, Lapino is going to go to the sin bin for tripping and this will get Fairfield prep a power play opportunity. Their special teams play, Sean, is terrific. Yeah, and this is not a situation that the Ironmen of Don Bosco wanted to put themselves into, coming here to Connecticut and giving up the early goal there moments ago to McKinney, then uh, sort of a frustration penalty right there for the Ironmen. Comes at 2.26 of the first period, so Fairfield prep on the power play. David White, a terrific player, wants to go to uh, Amherst and play some hockey. Also a terrific lacrosse player for Fairfield Prep is David White. He mans the middle of the ice on the power play. He's controlling along the wall right now is David White. White controls, dangles, plays it down low. Bargiello back to White. It goes in a line to Henry. Henry back to White. White into the circle. Tried to pass it to the corners. Deflected Bargiello. Forced to chase it down and plays it to the half wall. The White centers it to Connor Henry. Deflected off the fireboards and back to the line to DeMore. DeMore cross ice to Henry. Henry back along to White along the circle. Controls it back to the line to Henry. Henry back to White as they play catch along the board. Back midpoint it comes to Henry. Over to DeMore, back to Henry. Good puck boom at the White. White shot through a screen is deflected to the backboards. Connor Henry on it, plays it back to Bargiello. Bargiello controls back along right side to David White. And White back to Bargiello, trying to work that give and go, deflected to the line. Henry holds over to DeMore, back to Henry as they continue to work the outside. Don Bosco, pretty disciplined with their penalty kill box right now, Sean. Thus now, far, they're just sort of covering the front of the net, or the Ironman doing a good job of eliminating the Jesuits from getting too close out in front of the net. Here's Henry shot to a screen. The shield might have got a piece of that. And DeMore in from the left point to control. Plays it beyond two players behind the net to David White. White to control. Down to 32 seconds on the power play. Henry to White. White, Bargiello. Bargiello sends it through the goal mouth. Connor Henry chases it down. Back to DeMore. DeMore, diagonal pass to 
David White back to the line of Sean Henry. Back it goes to White. White looking for that shooting lane. Can't find it. Holds. Back midpoint. It goes to Henry. Over to DeMoor. Back to Henry. Oh, that's White. And he just couldn't pull the trigger in time. Lucio got a cross post to post. Back to DeMoor. Four seconds in the power play. Up ahead it comes. In the middle. A zig and a zag. And a White. One-handed pass to corner Henry. It squirts three to the far side as both clubs now back at even strength. And that was a good penalty kill by Don Bosco as uh, they, really the Jesuits could only work the perimeter on that power play opportunity. Big uh, collision in the corner. Alasco had it momentarily. Now it's controlled and played back behind and around to the Moore. And it was a good job by the Ironmen on that. They eliminated a couple close calls out in front of the net. And uh, you, you saw David White having his way out in front of the net a few times. And he, he fanned on that one opportunity, hesitated for that split second, and it gave an opportunity for Lishko to come over to inevitably make the save. Puck to the front of the Jets with net poked away by Beck is going after it was Carroll. Back the other way in transition comes Fairfield Prep. They work the puck at center along the Lockery. Lockery's going to dump it down in to the Don Bosco zone to the far side. Chased down by Coaches. Coaches plays it to a vacant corner and is taken there by Beerman. Beerman plays it up the wall to the freshman Mazella. He's the only freshman on the Ironman team. Don Bosco out of New Jersey, of course. This is Kevin Brown to control for Fairfield Prep with a 1 0 lead. And uh, we're just. Under the 10 minute mark remaining here in the first period of play. Wickman off the left wing as a gift to score. Turns away from a check in the corner, but he's double teamed. The puck pried off his stick and played to the line. Long shot goes up off the elbow of Lissio and is controlled to the near wall and taken there by Beerman. Played it safely to the Fairfield prep line where Brown plays it back through center. Long Both these teams are going to look to play fast paced hockey, and we've seen that thus far. Very up-tempo, very aggressive towards the puck. And that's what we're going to see throughout this matchup. Beerman plays it behind the Jesuit net. Scooped up by Andrew Hatton. Play to the near side now by Brown. Cross ice pass is deflected. Taken off the boards by Ventricelli. And he's uh, squashed along the wall on the far side with a whistle blowing as uh, Hansen able to tie him up. The faceoff coming outside that Don Bosco blue line, Sean. Good first period thus far. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, you know, getting out to the early lead, Fairfield Prep did. They were on the attack first. They made the first strike. But both these teams sort of playing very high tempo, trying to get after it quickly. It was McKinney from Henry at 2-10 of the first for the 1-0 lead. Ironman bottled up in their defensive zone for most of this first period as Aiden Rush, one of the young defensemen out there, keeps it in for Fairfield Prep, plays it behind, and that Edmonds able to spin off a check in the puck into the far corner. Taken there by Ventricelli. Ventricelli is tied up along the wall. He's looking for some help. It's a squirts free to McKinney. McKinney gets it back along the boards. He scrapes along the wall. Centering pass is deflected off a skate and finally corralled and taken away. Calgagno will play it to the near side. He has been a steady defenseman for this Ironman team throughout his career and comes much heralded into today's game. Good cycle here down low by Ventricelli. Gave the puck away and back the other way comes Griffin Welch. Welch plays it through center looking for the line change and Fairfield Prep if they hustle will work it cleanly out of their zone. Sean Henry with a zig and a zag over the red line. Cuts into the Don Bosco zone, throws it wide of the net. Puck comes to the near wall, taken by David White, played it to the corner. Puck comes back up the near left side, and uh, Morea trying to get it out. He cannot. White steals it to Bargiello, and the save made by Lissio. And then he got the quick whistle, and we'll have a face off. Oh, there it is, right there, is the, the attack offensively. And thus far in this game, the Jesuits have controlled the zone. They have definitely had the puck more offensively in this game than have the Ironmen. And, and one thing. It, for this Ironman squad is that they wanted to put pressure on the puck. And right now, uh, they're having to play back a little bit more than being able to get up ice and get a scoring opportunity themselves because the Jesuits are just all in their face. Bargiello off the faceoff win to the front of the net. Shot it wide. He maneuvered to the front of the net. Licio took away the bottom part, and Bargiello just shot it wide of the goal. Now the puck thrown down ice as players collide. No penalty called. And the puck collected by Billy Damore. Damore. 
Gave it away in the corner. Centering pass is deflected to the side of the net as the very dangerous Morea tried to feed one to the front. And back a three on two for the Jesuits. If they get to that loose puck, they could not. Hatton slows down the Ironman attack. And now DeMore leads it up ice for Fairfield Prep. Pokes it along. Alasco gives him a chase. The puck is lofted back out to center. And it's collected there by Wickman. Played it over to the defenseman Hatton. Hatton will slip it to the neutralized here. Take it away, and back comes Mazella. The backhander, Beck, makes a save and plays it to the far corner to Andrew Hatton. Hatton tied up, taken away by Mazella. Mazella in the corner is double team, looking for some help there from Rometta. And the puck squirts free, and here come the Jesuits again. Good clean pass to the near side to Coaches. Goes wing to wing to Wickman. Into the middle it comes. It's a Lockery breaking in. The shot as he goes high, and he got a piece of the pipe, and the puck is out of play. And you see the quick transition. From defense to offense by this Jesuit team of Fairfield Prep, they got up the ice in a hurry. They had the numbers, and that one just ringing the pipe on the wrist shot. But, you know, the problem with the, with the Ironman right now is when they get the puck in Fairfield Prep's end of things, they, they can't really get anything going. They either miss a pass or get jammed in the corner, and the puck's quickly back out the other way. So then they haven't been able to cement their offense yet in the offensive zone. Alicio's certainly been busy yeah. between the pipes. Uh, for Don Bosco here in the first. Face-off coming to his right. Another well, face-off down in the Don Bosco and one nothing Fairfield prep with the lead. Goal by Matt McKinney coming at 2-10 with Sean Henry picking up the helper. He deflected a long shot home. Here's a long breakout pass. Down the left wing side. Rometta trying to chase it down. Brown got to it. They collide. We may get a penalty here. Is the official with the arm up or they're just going to call icing? Let's see what they call here. Sometimes you can be fooled when that arm goes up because it's just an icing call, and they'll let the players stay on the ice. Well, on the hit, Joseph Rometta lost his mouthpiece through his mask. And it looks like it's just going to be an icing call there, Don. Faceoff coming to the left-hand side of Jared Lishthio. Off the faceoff is a Brandon Powell, a sophomore, taking the draw out there for Fairfield Prep. Buck play to the far side. It's collected by Lapino and played out ahead of the right wing. This is Welch racing into the zone. Into the circle. Scissoring pass and Brown just deflected it away. The big defenseman, Mark Bierman, had stepped up into the play too to the top of the net there. And good play by Brown. Yeah, good job by Bierman coming into the play. His only defenseman has eight assists on the year. Good size for Bierman though, the senior. He has 6'4", 180 out there. Long reach and that defensive stick. About 6'7 on those ice skates, too. This is DeBoer. Plays it to the near side. And it's collected there by Bayless, one of the young defensemen for Fairfield Prep. As Matt say, they're going deep on the bench here in the first with a 1-0 lead. Just above five minutes remaining in the period. Bearman will keep it in. Tried to play it up ahead as he laid it for Carroll, but it's stolen away. And back comes Wickman. Got Lockery ahead. Wickman into the zone. It's shot, deflected. Lockery will chase it down to the corner, plays it back to the line. Long reach of Bayless will keep it in and drives it wide. Puck rattles behind the net. Wickman double team there. Puck squirts to the side of the goal. Lichio trying to tie it up. Wickman gets it back, taken off his stick by Calgagno and plays it up the wall. And finally, Don Bosco will bank it ahead as Morea played it down into the Jesuit end. Demore controls there for Fairfield Prep. One nothing. They have the lead here in the first. Lockery slips a pass ahead. Coaches trying to squeeze through a check along the wall by Alaska. Play to the far side. Lockery will keep it in. Threw it into the high slot. It's stolen away. And back on the Ironman. On the attack, it's Rainey. Rainey is spun around and dumped by Hatton's check as he unleashes a drive to the back glass. Good job on the defense by Hatton knocking the offense opponent off track there using the body. Well done. Beck makes a save. It had not been all that busy. Yeah, the puck played back through center by Coaches to the far left wing to Wickman. Wickman all alone as the Jets with the midst of a line change, and Kevin Marr will steal it. Fanned on his pass attempt. The puck will squirt to Rainey. Rainey bottled up along the boards as McKinney is digging after it. And finally, it squirts free and now controlled by Aiden Rush. Plays it along to Sean Henry. Henry will use the wall to play it to the red line and driven right back from center by Galasco into that Fairfield prep zone. Three and a half minutes remaining here in the first. One-nothing Fairfield prep they scored early on. 
McKinney, the goal scorer, is out in the ice right now for Fairfield Prep as the puck controlled by Edmonds in his defensive left corner. He's looking for some help from uh, Aiden Rush. It's stolen away. Uh, centering pass is deflected as uh, Lapino tried to work it to the front of the net. You know, Don Bosco playing with a couple of guys, uh, not in the lineup, but are very good players here today, unfortunately, out with concussions and shoulder injuries, Sean. And uh, they're trying to, you know, find the, the magic out there with a couple of key players injured. Yeah, one thing, if you'd say advantage goes one way or the other in this matchup, is that the depth advantage is definitely on the side of Fairfield Prep. They have about 23 guys that can play. Uh, you know, they're on various different lines that can hang with a team like Don Bosco. And Don Bosco facing some injuries. Might only be uh, around 17 guys going here tonight. Yeah, Michael Hansen, one of those guys just coming back from injury, a wrist injury, stepping back onto the ice this week and got a chance to uh, play last night and has taken a shift here today. A couple other guys uh, out with concussions and the like. And so they're trying to uh, find the formula here to uh, replace some very good players. Uh, Dylan Healy is out with a shoulder injury. And uh, Letgeb is out with a concussion. A couple of guys that know how to light the lamp, too, for the Ironman. And Dylan Healy is uh, a big loss for this team. A guy that had uh, eight goals, seven assists, 15 points overall on the season. So that's some scoring production there that you lose. Morea will steal it, tried to center it, intercepted and returned by David White, and he'll scamper behind the net. Starts out and plays a backhand pass along the bar. Giello trying to put the hit was uh, Morea on White, and Morea took the worst of that one. Wow. Yeah, he immediately got off the ice there, then Chris Morea. Now White carries across the line, but ran into just too many Ironmen, and from center, Sean Henry will play it along to Wickman. Wickman goes crashing into the boards after the loose puck. It's played to the line. Kept in. Zig and a zag. Lockery to the backhand. Couldn't unleash it. Now he'll play it along behind the net. It's swatted by Rainey to the far side. Collected there by Con Kim. And up by say come. Puck dribbled over the stick of Garlasco. And back the other way comes Lockery. Lockery slips into the high slot. And it's just knocked off his stick. DeBoer backs it up from the right point. Centers it. And that goes off of skating in. That's not a goal. Wickman raised the stick, but he kicked it in. No goal. It remains one nothing. Before that call was even made, as I watched that play develop, I'm saying that is not going to count because you can blatantly see that Matt Wickman using the feet to guide that puck into the net. Faceoff will come all the way down into the Jesuit zone. Nope, they're going to call it out at center. A lot of the folks were creeping down ice for the deliberate whistle. It was a high stick. Of a hockey puck in the offensive end, they would have taken the faceoff all the way down, but the disallowed goal in the faceoff just outside the Don Bosco blue line. This is Hatton with the puck taking a funny bounce off his stick, and up ahead it comes to the right wing. Coaches, shot tough angle, deflected away. Puck side of the goal, coaches going after it again. Fairfield prep going four lines strong here against this Don Bosco team in the first period with a 1 0 lead. Under a minute remaining in the period. And finally, the puck corralled and played ahead by Lupino. Played it to the left wing side of Rometa. He got locked up along the wall by DeMoor. And now the Jesuits in their right defensive corner battling away. Lockery trying to guard there. Slipping out of traffic and shooting it wide with Lupino. Lucas Lupino with a good chance there for the Ironman coming off the wall. That was to the front of that. And the backhander Beck able to tie it up. No score! They whack it home on a goal ball scramble. It might have been Rometta who scored the goal. We'll have to wait. But it is tied at one as they score in a scramble in front. Wasn't pretty, Sean, but they got it done. It was just a scrum of bodies out in front of the net, and it was uh, too many Ironmen there to handle defensively for Fairfield. And they eventually got a sort of, it was still impeded kind of shot on net, but they finally got a clear opening to pound one into the back of the net, and the Ironmen tie this game up. Joe Rometta, I believe the senior scoring is six of the season as he whacks it behind the startled Matt Beck. So they worked it to the front of the net. A mucker goal, you'd call that one. Yeah, I mean, that, and that's what, you know, Don Bosco might have to do in this game, especially with the defense sort of collapsing on them when they get out in front of the net. Uh, the Jesuits seem have, to have done that in this game. So you got to try to get out in front, get that stick on some type of rubber when you have a chance try to get it past the goaltender and Beck. So we're down to the final 10 seconds of the first. They have not been announcing the goal scorers here at the Wonderland of Ice tonight. 
So we'll keep track of them on our own. This is Henry, played it up the wall, and there's a horn or a buzzer here at the Wonderland of Ice, which is very cold, Sean, I might add. It's uh, still a little warmer than outside because it is freezing outside right now, but you can see your breath, and uh, it's, it's like playing pond hockey inside. Well, good look at the Ironmen as they make their way back to their locker room. It was McKinney scoring a 2-10 from Henry to give Fairfield Prep the 1-0 lead. And then late here in the period, Joe Rometta scores in a scramble out top with Lucas Lapino picking up the helper at 14:30. We played one. We're tied at one. We'll take a break. Back with second period action right here on CPTV Sports. Rometta. Joseph Rometta. Okay. Yeah.
I beat them to breakfast last year. And I didn't go to bed until like 6 o'clock. I went to sleep for like 20 minutes. And then I produced the shit out of me. It showed us from the inside. And I won 600 bucks. Hi, five four three two 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 all right five four three two test five four three two 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 uh, at least we can hear each other, right? Can you can hear, hear yourself? Me. Yeah, you oh, can, you can hear yourself? In a, uh, there, I can hear my, I'm cutting in and out, though. Yeah, yeah it's that thing. It's, uh, There's a, well, since we don't need this, would this one work better? Maybe. Try it. Which one is it going, this? No, right here. Five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two, better? Yeah, that's five, better. better. All right. Nothing but the best equipment. That's what I like. Good equipment. Five, that, that's feeding that camera? Yep. Five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two. <laughs> All right. Now we can at least hear each other. 
Does he want to check out? Marshall, does he want to check audio? Is he okay out of that thing? Are you getting, are you bouncing? Five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> Testing, five, four, three, two. All right. <coughs> Better? Five, four, three, two. All right, now we can at least hear each other a little bit there. That was brutal. I didn't know if you were talking, if I was talking. I don't know. I, I talk a lot during the hockey, as you yeah, can tell. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, Don, I have to, uh, like, leave right at the end of this game, so if okay. they wanted to do an interview, I don't know if they're going to, but yeah. would you be able to do it? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate no problem. <laughs> I think they're lucky just to get the game in here. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like it was, but that's usually because the minor sucks. Can't that, is there a pen? Is this your pencil? I have a pencil. One of them says mine. I don't know which one. Yeah, take it. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I got a pencil here. Oh, it's good to hear you, Don. Good you to too. hear you. You too. <laughs> All right. I think we're balanced here. Five, four, three. Do you hey, want Marshall. More? Marshall. You getting levels for me too? You getting levels for me too? <laughs> Test one, two, three. One, two, three. Test. Uh, All right. I didn't pay anything left and right. It just <clears throat> the way they're coming out. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> it is cold out there. It's cold in here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do all the studying to bring all the notes. You can't even use them. You know, you get to situations where. You... Well, that's why I, I kind of like the setup yeah. I made for myself. Mm -hmm. Very fancy. Bad handwriting, <laughs> but easy to see. I kind of do the same thing here. Frankie and I are excited. Our Niners are in the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I know it, huh? Ole, 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 ole. Ole. Tell us when we're coming back, Frankie. Next break, you guys got to go. Uh, next intermission, you guys got to take me over. All right. It's always fun to do afterward. Yeah. We'll do David White and uh, Lichio. Jared Lichio. Uh, excuse me. Lichio. Lichio. Yeah. <laughs> and Don Bosco's 11 and 3 now. 11 and 3. They played last night. <laughs> All right. All right, welcome right back here to the Wonderland of Ice. The Ironman will uh, defend down to our left, travel left to right. They had a quick shot towards goal by Cal Gagno, and back the other way comes Bargiello now. Slips a pass intended for White, and it's going to be stolen away. Bargiello gets it right back. Connor Henry going after it. Bargiello finally controlled, knocked off his stick, helped the Skelter play, and back down the right wing side comes Lapino. Pino couldn't do much with it. And from center ice now, it's well throwing it down behind. Matt Beck, the goaltender tonight, here for Fairfield Prep. 1-1 one, one through 1. Early goal for the Jesuits on a goal scored by McKinney as he redirected a Sean Henry shot past the startled goaltender, Licio. And then uh, late in the first period, that gold mouth scramble and a goal by Joe Rometta to tie it at 1 uh, for Don Bosco's. We're just underway here in the second period, Sean. Yeah, the Jesuits really dominated that whole first period. They controlled the puck offensively for a majority of that first period and then it was just in the latter parts where finally the Ironman got a bunch of bodies out in front of the net and just swang away at the puck and finally put it into the back of the net. Puck controlled by Whitman. Matt Whitman will play it down ice. Chase along the left wall by Kenny Coaches. 
coaches. Carries into the far right corner. Got it back to the line. Going to be actually taken away by Lockery. Looked like it was intended for DeMoor. Now DeMoor on it. Good hustle play to keep it in the zone and play it to the near side. Taken there by Demola. Demola tried to play it up the boards. He did, and it's bumped out to center ice by Gaglasso, and it's thrown from center now by Carroll and offside to Don Bosco as they tried to maneuver into the zone. So now, Don, both these teams have had a period under their belt. You know, we have Don Bosco coming from the state of New Jersey. You have, you know, obviously Fairfield Prep here in Connecticut. So they've, they've definitely felt out each other. They, they know what they're up against. And now this is the period that we'll really see who is going to take that next step aggressively, offensively, take some chances, try to make some moves quickly up and down the ice because that's what both these teams like to do. Buck down in the Ironman zone. Comes along to the near wall to Kevin Brown. Brown tried to play it deep into the corner. He does. They have plucked off his stick. Trying to keep it in with Edmonds. Going to be swollen away. And here comes Mazella. Mazella down the wing. Throws it to the slot. And recovering nicely, Kevin Brown. Plays it up into the right wing side. And it's scooped down ice. And the chase is on for the loose puck. Hansen on it. Tied up along the wall by Ventraselli. Puck comes to the near side as the Jesuits again carry the play early on here in the second period. Shot by Henry. Snapped it off. Lichio made the save. Edmonds on the puck. Timmy Edmonds will play it back to the line to Brown. Played it with his skate. Nice play to keep it in. Got it back to Edmonds. He goes parallel along that blue line. Then he's collared by Marr. <laughs> Got the elbow up high. Shot by Henry to save May. The rebound scooter right past Edmonds on the doormouth. Now it's taken back by Brown. Played it along left wing side. And Ventricelli drops it back down into the Don Bosco zone. Licio did a good job of squaring up on the deflection on that last shot attempt by Fairfield Prep. Staying with it. Was in the right spot. Did a good job of making the save on the redirect. Shot from the line by Hatton goes whistling wide. Long carom collected by Kevin Meyer and he'll play it down ice for an icing call against the Ironman and a faceoff back in the Don Bosco prep zone. 1-1, 12-14 remaining in the second period. We've only had one penalty whistled. That was against Don Bosco in the first period for tripping as Lucas Lapino went to the sin bin and Fairfield Prep could not score in their only power play chance. He did not get shots on goal totals for you, but I would estimate probably 12-5 in favor of Fairfield Prep. Yes, which this is Henry, poked off his stick by the long reach of Mark Beerman. Beerman from behind the net. Outlet pass intercepted by White, but only momentarily taken right back by Griffin Welch. Now Connor Henry will keep it in. Back to White in the corner. White had it poked off his stick by Lapino. White gets it back. He's so strong in those skates as David White. White plays it side of the net to Henry. Henry from behind, back to the line to Demore. Tees up and drives one. And that's a whistler. The shield might have got a pad on it. Back to Demore again. Plays it across. Right side. Hatton snaps one to Henry. Quick shot saved by Lichio. Boy, he was going the wrong way and somehow got the glove on it. Big and save. Lichio was sinking back in the net, making that save. A dangerous opportunity for a scoring play there for Fairfield. If you were the Ironman, your goaltender was sort of trailing backwards. David White along the back wall. The Bargiello and along the Hatton. Hatton, another shot redirected by David White as he had the stick on the ice. Now Henry played it to the far side, taken by Del Gagno. Played to the line. Hatton keeps it. Another shot from the blue line. Boy, he's had a season's worth of shots now from that right point on one ship. I am in trying to get it out of the zone. They finally do. They work at the center. And Matt Whitman with fresh legs plays across ice to the right wing side of the coaches. Coaches will flutter it down ice into the far corner. Beerman's had a long shift. Will wheel it around to the near side to Remetta, the goal scorer for Don Bosco. He's tied up in the corner. And there's three players over there for the Ironman. Wickman comes out of the corner to the front of the net and he scores. Matt Wickman, terrific corner player, steals the puck and scores in Fairfield Prep with a 2-1 lead. Matt Wickman from the corner, the junior, taking it by himself, taking it into his own hands. A nice move out in front of the net. And Matt Wickman gets his seventh goal this season as he just had his way out into the front. A nice fake, put it to the far side of the net for the goal. So Wickman with the tally to make it 2-1. to one. Off the faceoff from center. The Don Bosco Ironman down the immediate attack down 2-1. This is Lockery. Played it to the wall. Taken by Wickman. Takes a look up ice and will bank it off the boards and down it goes. 
Coach is trying to chase it to alleviate the icing call, but could not. And face off back in the Fairfield Prep and 2-1. Fairfield Prep leading 10-13 remaining in the second. Good student section braving the cold here at the Wonderland Ice. And, uh, you know, uh, they're all standing the whole time, in which we're standing, too, because if you're sitting, you better have a blanket on or a hat and gloves because if you're not able to uh, move around, things could uh, tighten up on you pretty quickly. Quick whistle on the drop of the puck there, Sean. Of course, Fairfield Prep, a perennial power in the state of Connecticut, and they really thought they had a team that would make their way to a state championship game a, a year ago, but were beaten by Glastonbury yeah. and surprise win by the Tomahawks in the semifinals. And three nights of Notre Dame went, went on to win the Division I championship, but they won it back in 2011, and they're possessed here in 2012-13 and playing some pretty good hockey. Yeah, just rolling right along, playing their style of hockey. Yet, you know, in, in talking to their head coach and Matt Sather, there's still things to improve on. There's still things they want to accomplish. So they're, they're a force to be reckoned with right now. But the only scary thing for everyone else is that this team's just going to keep getting better and better if they keep playing hockey like the way they are right now. Got a lot of senior leadership on the squad this year. Of course, David White there. Their big leader, the guy that uh, certainly motivates. They also get a lot of motivation from their athletic goaltender, Matt Beck. And right now they lead Don Bosco 2-1. to one. Just about nine minutes remaining here in the second period. DeMoore in his own zone to control. DeMoore cuts in front of his own net and hurries a backhand feed out to center where it's knocked down by Cal Gagno and played along into the Fairfield prep zone. DeMoore to chase it. On his tail is Rainey. They go battling for it. There's a puck laid across to the far wall. Quick shot from a tough angle by Beerman goes wide. Puck kept in by Cal Gagno. Beerman and Cal Gagno have played together for a total of seven years of experience time between the two at the varsity level for Dumb Bosco. They are <laughs> certainly the mainstays back there. Yeah, and, you know, both these teams showcasing experience. And, and you know, that's what... You talk about high school hockey, your more successful teams are those teams that guys have been playing together for a long time through the youth ranks and up to the high school level. You know, they have that camaraderie. They know where each other are going to be at any point, any given point out on the ice there. So that's where you find your more successful teams when you have that senior leadership and a bunch of senior guys or juniors that have been together for a long time. Buck played between the blue lines. Nobody can really put a handle to it. Now it's finally settled down by Demore. Long stretch pass up ice. Henry on side breaks in. Shot saved by Licio. Got the blocker on it. Henry with a great collection of that pass to stay on side and a good opportunity for a two goal lead. Man, was that pass on point right there, right in stride. And a great job of staying home, using the blocker, making the save by Licio. Otherwise, this could have been a 3-1 game easily. Don Bosco will get a break there as their junior goaltender steps up for him. Off the face off, puck to the far corner. Connor Henry splashed against the wall. Bargiello throwing his weight around. Puck taken by Carlasco and played to the right wing wall. This is Rometa down the wing. Will bank it deeper into that Jesuit zone. Taken by Sean Henry. Henry double teamed as the aggressive Ford check pays off for the Ironmen as they bottle up Henry. Now comes free to corner Henry. Good outlet pass up to Bargiello. Bargiello to David White. Turns into a two-on-one. He's got Connor Henry breaks into the backhand. Alicio stopped him again. The second time he has robbed Connor Henry. That was great passing. Bargiello White collaborating with Henry for yet another chance. Now the puck sent along. David White on the four check will keep it in. Now it's played out the center. Kevin Brown on it. Plays a cross ice. Laid offside against the Jesuits. Finally waved off with the puck sent out the center. Puck is whacked around and golfed down into the Fairfield prep zone. Taken by Kevin Brown. Brown is knocked down on a big hit by Lapino. And the puck now back onto the stick of Brown. Brown will play at the Wickman. Wickman plays off the rub along the boards, continues to travel up ice. He's knocked down on the play by Christopher Carroll, and the puck behind the iron the net. Laid to the corner by Healy. Battle for it. Arm is up. We've got a penalty upcoming here, and there's the whistle, and I believe a cross-checking penalty upcoming here. You have Wickman giving a little hello to uh, Stamola as Stamola looks like he might be heading to the sin bin right now. And this will be yet another penalty. It's hard to tell who the penalty is on. Uh, it's on Wickman. It's gonna They're going to get Wickman, Wickman okay. with the cross check there, there. So Wickman to go in the corner. I never saw it. It was down out of my view down there. But 
Wickman, one of the goal scorers in this game for Fairfield with the second goal to make it 2-1. So Wickman to go. This will give Don Blasco their first power play opportunity of the hockey game. And something we've seen with Don Bosco when they have had the puck in the offensive zone, they've gotten caught a couple times with Fairfield quickly going back the other way. So an opportunity to try to keep the puck in the zone for a while here on the power play. Pierman with a big drive and a save by Beck and the rebound quickly gobbled up by Lockery and sent down. And Don Bosco is going to have to regroup. I haven't seen Robert Marsanico out on the ice there leading scorer with 33 points. He, he hasn't touched the puck. I don't know if he's in uniform. We were told to watch out for him. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we haven't seen him play. I think got ill. I don't know. The flu bug is going around, that's for sure. So, and yeah. when that flu bug strikes, it strikes quickly. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm fighting the tail end of it now. There's a centering pass. Comes to the right point. Cal Gagno able to creep in and play it to the corner. Still has control. Comes into the circle and plays it off to uh, Morea. Morea leaves it behind the net. Centering pass, and Beck will tie that up on the pads, and we'll have a face-off upcoming as Christopher Carroll tried to force it through. Well, this is what the Ironmen needed, a power play here, obviously, not just because they're down 2-1, to one, but sort of try to kickstart their offense. Uh, they've really been stagnant on the offensive zone. The one goal that they've had in this game, it was a, a mess for the puck out in front of the net. It really wasn't a sustained offensive possession. And they did a good job of just swiping back at the puck and getting it in. So you know, they might want to emulate that again here on the power play, working around, try to get closer to the net and get some bodies out in front. Rometa tried to center it right there to uh, Glasgow as he was wide open with Rory Glasgow. His brother also plays on the team. The puck back down into the Don Bosco end with just about 30 seconds remaining on their power play try. Their first of the game. We're in the second. Fairfield prep with a 2-1 lead. Goal in the first and one in the second. Into the corner goes Rory Glasgow. Glasgow played it along the wall, right side of Lupino. Back into the corner it goes. Glasgow controlling, pressured by David White. Leaves it off for Welch. Welch back along, it comes to Lupino. Lupino back to the line. Glasgow back to the front of the net. Loose puck. Lupino with a backhander. That's going to be blocked away by Connor Henry and then sent the length of the ice by Sean Henry as time will expire on the Wickman penalty for the cross check. So both clubs now back at even strength with under four and a half minutes remaining in the second period, Sean. Jesuits did a good job of killing the penalty. It was probably only about one solid scoring attempt on that power play there for the Ironmen, but a great job of eliminating anything too close. That puck changing hands like a hot potato, then gloved along in a hand pass. The whistle is Lupino propelled it to... Mazella, and that will stop play. And a faceoff coming back inside the Don Bosco zone. Two to one, Fairfield prep leading. Goal scores McKinney and Wickman. In between all that, Remetta scoring for Don Bosco. And I, I was really excited to see this game because, as I talked about starting off this broadcast, the really exciting dynamic about this is you see another state hockey team against you know Connecticut top hockey team. Even though Don Bosco, one of the top hockey teams in Jersey, so it's always a good gauge of sort of where you're at for your team on both sides of things here because you're playing a top team from another state you're unfamiliar with, don't really know much about, and you got to sort of fight through, find ways, learn tendencies of the other opponent quickly, and that's a good gauge and, and very good practice for the rest of the season for both these teams. Delgano trying to work it out ahead, he does. And from center ice, Rainey will throw it in on Beck. A bouncing puck that had hopped over the stick of Hatton in the recovery, and now it's lofted out of play. And what I mean by practice also is that, obviously, this is a regular season game, and both teams want to win, and winning helps you propel towards the playoffs. But it's a big thing come playoff time because when you get into the state tournaments in respective you know, states here with New Jersey and Connecticut, you might be playing teams that you've never played before or seen all regular season. So that brings in that unfamiliar aspect to that as well. So when you play in a game like this in the regular season, it's kind of like, you know, playing a team in the state tournament where you have that unfamiliarity going on. Tom Bosco through center. They play it up ahead. This is Carroll. Carroll tried to work it off that right wall to uh, Hunter Velasco, and that didn't work. And back the other way, 
on the Jesuits into the corner goes Coaches. Coaches plays it to the near side to Wickman. Back to Coaches. Taken off his stick by Hansen. And that's backed up by uh, Hunter Galasco. Galasco able to work it to the near side to Healy. Healy able to shovel it to Carroll. And he'll loft it to center glove down by Sean Henry and bounced right back in on Licio, who's really been the story of the second period with a couple of big saves off of Connor Henry, Sean. Yeah, it could easily have been 4 1 for Fairfield Prep, but. He did a good job of staying home on the backhand attempt and also coming up with a big blocker save as well. Velasco coming down the wing, bumped off the puck by Henry, stays on his track, but Kevin Brown will steal it away. Brown played it to the line, then gave it away to Griffin Welch, and Welch will play it back behind the Fairfield prep net. Taken by Sean Henry over to Brown, his defense partner. Banks a pass along to the right wing. Coaches will come cross ice to Wickman. Wickman can't catch up to the pass, and it's played right back into the Fairfield prep zone. Of course, Don Bosco playing this season with heavy hearts. A former player in the Army, Major Thomas Kennedy, lost his life in Afghanistan, unfortunately. They certainly have been remembering uh, his uh, accomplishments. A uh, cadet at one time, and they score! Coming off the wing, left wing side, Lapino sneaks it home. It looked harmless, and somehow that puck just eluded Beck, and all of a sudden, Don Bosco has knotted it at two. Boy, we're talking about uh, Kennedy, and all of a sudden, they come up with a goal, so <laughs> certainly shining down upon Don Bosco right there, Lapino Lucas with Lupino the tally. Lucas <laughs> Lapino with his ninth goal of the season. He did a good job of coming around the net there. He might have been deflected on the other side. But we'll, we'll give credit to Lapino on that goal. As it was just a hustle goal on his part from the captain. Lapino with a goal and assist now. And we're tied at 2. 13-10, the unofficial time of the tally. As Don Bosco scores the goal. Puck deflected to the back wall. Talking about Major Kennedy, they've had a fundraiser. Certainly uh, left a family behind, and they've raised over $300,000, and they're going to uh, retire his jersey, which is terrific. And at one time, uh, when he was at West Point, he invited some 52 hockey players from Don Bosco to uh, take a tour of West Point. So just a great story. And I can tell you what, taking a tour of West Point, growing up around that area, it is a special, special place to go visit. It's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And, and obviously, we uh, thank all of those that are serving our country as well. And and giving up the ultimate sacrifice as uh, uh, Mr. Kennedy did there. Absolutely. So we certainly do remember Major Kennedy. You can check out more on the Don Bosco website if you'd like. Down under a minute remaining here in the second period of play. A 2-2 game. The puck played behind the Fairfield prep net. So Don Bosco has battled back now twice from one goal deficits. And uh, they're right back into it. We're tied at two. The puck played out the center. And it's controlled down the left wing side by McKinney, who scored the game's first goal. It's rattled off his stick, and back the other way comes Beerman. Beerman trying to use that long reach to move around DeMore. He's able to steal it away. DeMore able to recover and play it to Aiden Rush. Rush will reverse and come out the near side, play to the line. Beerman will keep it in. He fell down and had some difficulty keeping it in. And now the puck floated along, and Beerman gets it back, but he's offside with 11.2 seconds left. The puck wouldn't leave his side. Yeah, I don't think after he was down on his backside trying to keep the puck in the zone, I don't. his legs were definitely across the blue line. I don't think he ever came back out and then reset things back up to get back in the zone for the Ironman. Faceoff coming outside the Fairfield Prep blue line. So back and forth they go. one nothing Fairfield Prep. Don Bosco ties it at 1. 2-1 two, one Jesuits. And the Ironman tied it at 2. Galasco to take this faceoff. Going up against Edmonds. And now they're going to call the faceoff at the dotted center. Okay. I guess some confusion on that whistle. Fair is fair. Now Gagno will retreat behind his net, finds refuge, now quickly plays it out to center. Kevin Brown will take a look at the clock and says, that's it, this period's over. So we're skated through two, Sean, and we're tied at two, Don Bosco Prep of New Jersey and Fairfield Prep of Connecticut. Yeah, yet again, the beginning part of the period, owned by Fairfield Prep, they took the 2-1 lead, and then again in the latter parts of that second period, like in the first period, Don Bosco finds a way to put the puck in the back of the net, and it was just a hustle goal by Lupino for the Ironman, and you know, they're uh, 
sort of story of two different halves of the periods in that Fairfield prep, owning the beginning parts, but then the Ironmen sort of take that punch and work their way back into this one and scoring a goal. Matt McKinney back in the first, giving the Jesuits a 1-0 lead. Joe Rometta tied things up late in the period at 1. Wickman early in the second for Fairfield Prep for 2-1 lead. Lapino, as Sean mentioned, scoring the equalizer late in the second. We'll take a break back with period number 3 right here on CPTV Sports. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can see our breath here. <laughs> oh, that, that light is actually warm. Yeah. Uh, coming down in three, two, and one from the Wonderland device where it's freezing cold. Test one, two, three. Let's do this before I have to pee.
Welcome to the Wonderland of Ice here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. High School Hockey on CPTV Sports. Don Boyle, Sean McGrath alongside. A trip down I-95 for Don Bosco Prep actually coming north here to take on the Jets with the fifth field prep in a battle of two very good teams, Sean. Yeah, this is always an interesting matchup when you have two of the top two teams from two different states. You have a Jersey team and Don Bosco taking on the Connecticut team in Fairfield Prep. So it's always interesting to see two different styles of hockey maybe coming from two different states uh, clashing together here. I'm really excited about this matchup. As you know, goaltending such a key to a successful hockey team success. How about about the goaltender for Don Bosco. Yeah, Jared Licio is a goaltender that's been starting for quite a while for this team. In three and a half years starting for Don Bosco, he has 15 shutouts. He has three this season. He's the guy that really set... Do it again. Do it again. Welcome to CPTV Sports coverage of high school ice hockey. We're in Bridgeport, Connecticut at the frigid Wonderland of Ice as making the trip north from New Jersey, Don Bosco Prep, to take on Connecticut's top team, the Fairfield Prep. Yes, with Don Boyle alongside Sean McGrath. We'll talk about the, well, the Ironmen. They come with a pretty good goaltender and a pretty good record. Yeah, that they do, and it's always interesting to see how a Jersey team will match up against a Connecticut team. But taking a look at Don Bosco and their goaltender, Jared Licio, he's a guy that started for three and a half years for this team. And in those three and a half years, he has 15 shutouts. He has three shutouts this season alone. So he really sets the tone for this team defensively. If he's stopping the puck, obviously this team's rolling right along. But he's a leader in the net for this Don Bosco team. So watch for him to cut off angles against this Fairfield team that quickly likes to get up the ice and try to score right out in front of the net. Jesuit certainly led by one of the top players here in the state of Connecticut and David White. Not only can he play the game of ice hockey, good lacrosse player too, heading to Amherst, and he is the heart and soul. Yeah, D, you got that right. David White is the heart and soul of this team. He's a high energy guy. He's quick out there. He's lightning quick. He's up and down the ice. He helps out defensively. He scores the puck. He leads the team in points this year. He has 10 goals on the season, leading the team in points overall as well. He's a guy that will probably be calling his name a lot tonight because he's just going to be everywhere out there on the ice. That's going to be a good one inside the very cold Wonderland of Ice here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Up next on CPTV Sports, it's high school ice hockey.
right there. Game next week. Next week. Possibly a live game. Really? Oh, that'd be good. I think. Yeah. Here we go. Back here at the Wonderland of Ice, just underway with a drop of the puck, period number three, and the puck out of play. And they're going to do it again. Lapino to take the face off with David White. Lapino having quite a game here tonight for the Ironman with a goal and an assist. He scored the game time goal late in the second period. 2 2. Uh, just underway here in the third. Don Boyle, John McGrath alongside. Nice to have you with us for high school ice hockey between Don Bosco Prep out of New Jersey and Fairfield Prep, of course, out of Bridgeport. Uh, actually, Fairfield, Connecticut, but playing here in Bridgeport. <laughs> <laughs> Get confused with all that. <laughs> Played here for many, many years. The Wonderland of Ice. So many great players have come through the program. It's a cold land of ice tonight. Tom Bosco coming out and showing pretty good puck possession for one of the few times. Really, they've just scored on counterattacks a couple of times. Exactly, now. and especially in the beginning part of the, the period here, controlling it, which is something that Fairfield has done the first two periods. Puck sails out of play as Behrman propelled it towards goal, and we'll have a faceoff coming to the right of Matt Beck, starting, starting goaltender for Fairfield Prep here tonight. And uh, Jared Lichio was terrific in the second. Robbing Connor Henry twice, once in a breakaway, another on a redirect on the doorstep. So he has been good. And as you know, on those redirects, <laughs> they can go anywhere. But if you stay square to the play and keep your body in front and square to where the puck direction's coming from, you have a higher percentage of an opportunity to make a save. Demola plays it right back into the Fairfield prep end. On it there, Demore played it up the wall. It's going to be intercepted by Erlasco. Now a shot towards net, sticked away by Beck as that shot by Morea. Uh, puck sent back the other way, and now he's in call against the Jesuits. Another faceoff back in the Fairfield prep zone. 13:43 remaining in period number three. You know, I'm talking to the Don Bosco coaching staff before this game and, and trying to, you know. Why, why come down here to Connecticut and, and take on, you know, a, a team from Connecticut? And It's simply put, and it's echoed throughout their whole team, is they, they want to play the best. They're Don Bosco. They're one of the top teams in Jersey. They want to go play some of the other teams that are the top teams in the other states surrounding them. Certainly taking on the best here in 2012-13 in Fairfield Prep as they're ranked number one in the state of Connecticut. Notre Dame West Haven ranked number two. They competed in an early season matchup, an impressive win by Fairfield Prep over the defending Division I state champs. By the score of 3 to 1, had a 3 0 lead at one point in that game through one period of play. Puck played to Sean Henry, gloves it down, played it in front of the Fairfield Prep bench on the far side. Jesuits in the white uniforms and in the maroon, the Ironman of Don Bosco Prep. And you, you know, the name Don Bosco, as I said before throughout this game, is well known in their athletic ranks. Especially in the state of New Jersey, they're extremely well known for their high school football, who always ranks pretty much within the top 25 in the nation. This is Hatton, plays it over to Sean Henry. Henry retreats back to Hatton in the far corner, and he'll play it up the wall. Buck played along, excuse me, yeah, that is Hatton out there, number two, not number six. Kevin Brown will play a lot of defense alongside Sean Henry also. This is Hatton, Andrew Hatton leads the attack out of the zone. Played it to the red line, and that's turned right back by Cody Calgagno. And 
Now it's Henry to try with a pass out to the left side. Margiello plays it across right, and Hatton will drift it down towards the goaltender. Licio will stick it to the corner, first one on it, and shoveled around by Galasco behind the net, comes back to Galasco. Galasco tried to play it through Connor Henry. He does the center, players battling for it. That's David White, featured in our pregame over to Connor Henry the White. Henry just out of his reach in the corner. Henry off to Bargiello. Nick Bargiello turned and knocked down on the play as uh, Lapino there again. He has been pesky all night, has been Lapino. On that last give and go, I think White should have kept the puck and tried to wrist shot the puck towards the net there. He should have well, kept it himself. He was uh, unselfish, but yet should have been selfish. Well, it's a pretty good feed right there to Lapino. Just couldn't golf it towards Beck and goal. Now DeMore will give it away. Lapino will keep it in along the boards. Whitman ties him up there. Lapino stays with it and will play it to the near side. Kept in by Roy Garlasco and back behind in that hat. And oh! oh! Run into and knocked out by Lupino. We've uh, seen Lupino have another big hit in this game, but that was by far the biggest hit of this matchup. Absolutely. Just laying the hammer. And he took a big look at the student body from Fairfield Prep in attendance after that heavy hit. Now David White knocked down at center. We've got yeah. a penalty upcoming. They're going to call and it interference. interference. Call, indeed. It was just, there were, there were really no need for that hit. Uh, by Rometta. He was in the middle of the ice on David White, sort of uncalled for. It wasn't necessary. It wasn't really near the puck. Got whistled for the penalty. 3.55 time of the penalty here in the third. Second power play chance for Fairfield Prep. They had one way back in the first. They're 0 for 1. Don Bosco 0 for 1 in their power play opportunity. 2 2 score. Fairfield Prep has had a 1 0 lead and a 2 1 lead and have not been able to hold on. Mainly due to the great goaltending play of Jared Lishio. Has he been that good here tonight? Fairfield <laughs> Prep off the faceoff will start from behind their net. Timmy Edmonds plays it along left side, comes right. Wickman able to collect it. Carries into the zone, will play it behind the net. First went to it, Cal Gagno. Cody Cal Gagno will play it off the glove of Kevin Brown and out of play. And they'll rule the face off outside the Don Bosco blue line. Not too much energy here in the third period. Both teams really going through the motions a little. Yeah, and even the student section here a little quiet to begin the third period. And, and sort of some lackadaisical passing going on. And especially in the first two periods, these teams are very high tempo. Is it Edmonds off the wing? Tried to scoop it to the front of the net. He scores! Oh, a nifty move by Timmy Edmonds on the power play, and Fairfield Prep will get the lead back at 3-2. Licio fooled by the Edmonds play. He banked it off him and in. Yeah, that was, I was kind of wondering where the puck went there. It sort of just disappeared and then ended up on the other side and into the net beating Jared Licio. But Tim Edmonds with his fifth goal of the season for the senior forward, and a nice nifty move to get to the front of the net. And then snuck it past, sort of willing the puck past Licio. So a startled goaltender lets one into the short side. And on the power play, Fairfield Prep regains a one-goal lead. After the middle comes David White. He's across the line, plays it up to corner. Henry into the corner. Henry able to turn away from the check of Galisco. Uh, or Galasco, rather. Now it's taken by David White. Knocked off his stick. Comes in line. Quick shot. Save. Henry looking for the rebound. And he couldn't handle it. That was a big drive by Colloy, who uh, let it go. A rifle shot from the blue line by the sophomore defenseman. Boy, he's got a rocket. <laughs> Delicio staying home there. Using his body. Corraled the, got the puck out in front. There was a rebound opportunity, though, which is one thing you could point out from that save. Here comes David White, lays it off right side to Connor Henry, cuts into the zone, was stood up by the defensive play of Christopher Carroll. Now the puck behind, and that's actually Healy, isn't it? Wearing number three. Now Henry gets it back. Connor Henry carries into the corner, tied up along the boards by Healy, trying to squeeze off the check and uh, try to throw it to the front of the net, and that was blocked away. Pucked in a line. Another shot ricochets wide by Kaloy as he just wristed that one towards net. He's got some quick wrists as that young fella. There's a steal by David White. He'll keep it in. White to the corner. The pass. Shot. Score! That was Kenny Coach. He's kind of fanned on his first try there, Sean, and then belted it behind Lissio, and it's now 
four to two. And I was just going to say, if you're Fairfield prep, because you know Don Bosco has, has battled their way back in this game when they were been one goal down twice in this matchup, if Fairfield prep sort of stepping up the pressure instead of playing back like they've got caught doing after taking a lead in this game, that time stepping up the pressure and capitalizing on the goal, as you'll see in the replay, the puck just comes out in front and in the right place at the right time, put that one into the back of the net for Fairfield prep. A good job on the goal there by Kochkis in his third goal of the season. So we get a timeout down below. I believe Don Bosco calling the timeout. With the timeout and Fairfield prep striking twice quickly here in the third and a 4-2 lead. We'll step aside back with more right here on CPE TV Sports. That was a nice pass. Yeah. He was in between two guys, too. <laughs> yeah. Frankie, I'll leave this for you so then they can have it for post-production. <laughs> I'll leave this whole thing for you so they can have it for post-production, all right? Kenny coaches. Okay. <laughs> oh, I've been sick as a dog myself. I can't get over it. Plus, I bruised a rib or broke a rib last week playing hockey. What? Uh, yeah, some guy fell on top of me. Still getting out there, huh, Doc? Still getting out there. Why don't you give us a little black? We'll come back from black if you'd like. Whenever you're ready. All right, back here at the Wonderland of Ice, a timeout call by the Ironmen after they watch uh, Fairfield Prep score two quick goals in about a span of a minute 30 here, Sean, open up a 4-2 lead. Almost yeah. another opportunity off the faceoff again. But Fairfield doing a good job of keeping the pedal to the metal offensively, not sitting back after gaining a lead and really just continuing to do what they do offensively, and that's grind away. Coaches played it behind the net. Back out front on the pass from Wickman for Coaches. And comes in the line to Demore. Demore played it through and behind. Beerman to chase it down with that long reach. He'll poke it away from Wickman. Play it up to Christopher Carroll. And they work it out ahead. they got a potential three on two. Puck thrown in from center by Kevin Meyer to the back wall. Players go clashing after it behind the net. Good energy shown by Galasco. Galasco played it to the far side, and then he just threw the weight around and knocked down Coaches, and it's back out to center, and Behrman delivers it back into the Fairfield prep zone. On it there is uh, Billy Damore. Played it safely to the line, taken by Wickman. Played it up ice, back to Wickman it comes on the feed. That was a little touch pass along there by McKinney. McKinney scored the game's first goal, by the way. That was a long time ago now as we move <laughs> near the midway point of period number three. From center, Rory Alaska will play it down into the fifth field prep zone. It's back out to center. And it's popped back into the Jesuit end again. On it there's Sean Henry. Pass rattles over to McKinney. McKinney will start up ice. Pass along for Edmonds, who scored the go-ahead goal on the power play here in the third. It's too long, and it goes for icing, and a face-off back on the Fairfield Prep zone. You know, one thing Fairfield Prep has also done a good job in this game with is eliminating shots coming from the point pretty much at all from, from the Ironmen and trying to get redirects. The Ironmen have scored their goals close to the front of the net, so a good job defensively of eliminating opportunities on the slap shots and shots farther away and eliminating the bodies of the Ironman getting to the front of the net to try to redirect those kind of shots. So a great job by the defensemen and the defense overall by the Jesuits. Bargiello, the feet up ahead. David White, he's into the zone. White tried to trickle through the defense there, but good play by Stamola to slow him down. But collected by Rometta, scored Don Bosco's game-time goal back in the first, tied it at one with just seconds remaining in the first period. Now the puck... Laid right back down in to that Don Bosco end from center. And a face-off will be called down in the Jesuit zone due to icing. So, 7-10 remaining, 4-2 Fairfield prep. And Don Bosco trying to find a way to get back into this game, Sean. They really haven't found their identity offensively in this game at all. The, the two goals they had were sort of scrappy goals, hunt hustle plays. They haven't maintained the puck in the zone much offensively at all. They really haven't got it going. They haven't been in sync 
is a good word to use. That puck sent down ice. For, well, icing's going to be waved off. Focus on it in the corner. He's tied up along the wall. He scored Fairfield Prep's fourth goal on a pretty feed from David White here in the third. He's muscled off the puck as it's collected by Cody Calgagno and played up ahead. From center, it's lofted down by Mazella. He'll give it a chase of the backboard. The more there to take it away. And the puck played through Beerman, and he'll have to chase down into his own zone. No, it's going to go for an icing call. It was just out of that long reach for an icing call. How do you get it by that guy? <laughs> Yeah, you got that long read, six, four, 180 plus pounds. As you mentioned, six, seven plus on the skates. He is a big fellow. Hunter Galasco to take this face off for the Ironman. He's going to go up against uh, Ryan Deering, a sophomore for Fairfield Prep. Seeing some ice time tonight for head coach Matt Sather. Puck carried along by Kaloy, played it to the far side, and up ice they work it. Bumped down on the play was Deering, is uh, waiting for him there was Tomoha uh, on that blind pass through center. Physical play starting to pick up here a little bit. This is Carroll, plays it off to the right wing side to Carlasco. He spun around, and Kevin Brown will give the puck a chase, plays it to the near side of the young defenseman Kaloy. The future of Fairfield Prep Hockey back there along the blue line right now with one of the veterans, Kevin Brown. Brown from behind the net. Had it poked off his stick, stolen away by Carlasco, and he sends it towards Beck, and he'll cover for the faceoff. His players scrum after the whistle. We haven't had too many of those altercations. And, uh, you know, as there really shouldn't be in this matchup, it, it's sort of a, you know, as we've mentioned, it, two different states, dynamic, and you know, it should be a, sort of a friendly matchup, but competitors are competitors. At times, you're going to get chippy. Hey, hockey is one of the unique sports where you do see a lot of uh, play between uh, uh, teams from different states. Uh, you know, Hamden recently oh. up to Hingham, the yeah. take on Hingham in the state of Massachusetts. And that's also because the majority of high schools, you know, throughout the, the, the states surrounding Connecticut and so on and so not everyone has a hockey program, so... You got to find other where other places to play as well, especially some of the talented teams. Hampton beat that Hingham team with a traditional powerhouse up in the state of Massachusetts too. So they did a nice job against Hingham. But back behind the Don Bosco net, Beerman to control. Kind of leads me to this point. I'd love to see them bring back the old New England tournament and mm. include even New Jersey teams. I know that's not a New England state, but right. why not include them? Right. Years ago, they used to. Uh, Attracts a terrific hockey fan. Or get a tournament together where you get, you know, teams from Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, where high school hockey's... Oh, there's a shot and a save made by Chino, and uh, he'll cover it for the faceoff. With Chino able to hold on there in a sneaky shot from the blue line by Bayless. Well, you know, pretty much like I was saying, you know, just get a, as many states as you can together that are in the Northeast here and, and put together a tournament, uh, you know... Uh, of your upper echelon teams from each state. You can fund it for me. You got any money? Yeah, can... that's that's yeah. that's also the big <laughs> <laughs> lingering factor. Meyer will play it down ice and give it a chase for Don Bosco. Bargiello on the far side. Down under five minutes remaining. Fairfield Prep leading it by the score four to two with two goals here in the third. One on the power play, another at even strength, about a minute and a half apart. The more chased down by Carroll. Plays off the check to Margiello off the left wing side. Nick Margiello trying to carry it along, able to propel it up by to David White. White looks out front, try to toss it to Connor Henry. It's going to be intercepted and taken right back by Kevin Meyer. Meyer with a goal in the season, plays at the center, taken by Hatton and powers it back down into the Don Bosco zone to the corner. Connor Henry is bumped off the puck and is collected by Rory Galasco and played up ahead of the left wing side. I think Galasco will. Play it deeper into the Fairfield prep zone with under four minutes remaining here in the third period. Kind of maintenance time right now for Fairfield prep against Don Bosco, Sean, with a two-goal lead at four to two. Get some of those younger players some action in, in this game against, a, you know, still a very, very talented team from the state of New Jersey and Don Bosco prep. So this is a definitely, if, if they can hold on, Fairfield prep, an excellent win for them, an excellent gauge, an excellent test for the rest of their season. Drop of the puck, it squirts in on Matt Beck. 
As you mentioned earlier, Beck coming in with four wins on the season, looking for his fifth for this unbeaten Jesuit team. You know, and talking to head coach of Fairfield Prep there and Matt Sather, you know, he told me there's no clear-cut favorite in the goal between Chris Gutierrez and Matt Beck, who gets to start tonight. They've sort of been going back and forth, and both of them getting the job done. Beck has a, you know, 93% save average, and, you know, right there, Gutierrez, 91%. Both have, you know, around a goal against average as well, and, uh, you know, they're playing goalie by committee. This is Wickman off the far left wall. Yeah, two junior goaltenders, too. That's going to be the most difficult thing to do. Try to keep right. goaltenders happy because only one can play at a time. <laughs> Coach is coming off the wall. We'll play it down. He scored a big goal here in the third period to open up a two-goal lead for Fairfield Prep. Down under three minutes remaining. Don Bosco trying to get back into it. Lockery with a steal. Tried to wheel it through the middle of the ice surface there. And it's broken up in the play. And it's sent back down into the... No the uh, Fairfield prep zone taken by Kevin Brown and along to Sean Henry. Henry up ice to Wickman. Couldn't contain the pass and Stamola gets to it. Stamola able to play it cross ice. Kevin Brown will collect from the red line and drop it halfway into that Don Bosco zone. Back they come. Welch off the wing. Throws it to the back of the net. Sean Henry there. Along to the right wing. This is Deering. Nice pass. Indeed it was. Up ahead to Quinn. Puck slides off his stick, and Lichio will cover for a face-off. And that's one thing Fairfield has gotten done in this game. Those longer passes up ice to generate offense, they've been on mark. And Don Bosco has tried that at times, but the defense has been right there to stop it from Fairfield prep. There hasn't really been any of those crisp passes that we've seen from Fairfield emulated by Don Bosco. They've had a hard time. Shot on the line is sticked away. That's Bayless with a shot. Now the puck knocked back down into the Fairfield prep zone and Sean Henry on it fell down and Neely fell down and gave it away and a shot there by Healy from a difficult angle it was an easy stop. Actually it might have been Kevin Meyer with the chance there. Now Meyer had it on his stick it deflected and bounced over his stick as players go crashing into each other. We're going to get a penalty behind the play here as we had guys pitchforking each other jousting. Now Gagno had been knocked down Christopher Carroll is on the doorstep, and let's see if we see matching penalties here. Carroll and Henry, perhaps. They may both go. Let's wait and see. Well, Christopher Carroll, for one's going to go, yep. and Henry's going to go with him. That's Sean Henry. Carroll forward for Don Bosco, senior. And Henry, a senior defenseman for Fairfield Prep. 13-13, time of the infractions. So it remains five on five in front of the goaltenders with the matching penalties. Edmonds, who scored the go-ahead goal on the power play to take the face off at Fairfield Prep. Puck sent down ice. Petroselli comes off the wing, shot blocked away. Petroselli gets it right back. Trying to slip past the check of Cal Gagno. It's taken away and controlled by the Ironman. Trying to mount the attack. And Alasco trying to go the length of the ice. Knocked off his pins. I'm taken right back and McKinney will play it to the line. Beerman will glove it down. Waits for everybody to clear and sends it right back in with 70 seconds remaining here in the third period. 4-2 Fairfield prep leading. Stay tuned for our post-game show. We'll talk to the player of the game. I wonder who you're going to pick, Don. Oh, no, I'm going to use your help, that's for sure. <laughs> this is DeMore, plays it along left side. Played it out ahead. Now it's right back behind the Fairfield prep net. Matt McKinney, the junior forward, difficult to getting it out. He'll chase it down to the corner. McKinney will shovel it on the backhand around to the far left side. And Tricelli trying to work it in the corner. He got tied up along the wall. Beerman trying to pinch to keep it in. It's finally poked out the center with under 30 seconds remaining. 2-2 two, two through two periods of play, but Fairfield Prep scores two at 428, another at 550 to open up the two-goal lead here. And it looks like they're going on to win game number 11 against zero losses this season. 
They're a force to be reckoned with. Watch out. The rest of uh, the state of Connecticut has to go up against this Fairfield prep team. They are strong offensively. They are shut down defense. They have it all clicking right now out there on the ice. Fairfield prep coming in, scoring 55 goals in the season, giving up just 15 in 10 games, which is terrific. John Bosco coming in with 61 goals, 4 and 24 against, but they've already played close to 18 games as they pull their goaltender, open net, shot towards goal, and uh, they got a penalty upcoming yeah. here, so no goal for Barshi. <laughs> that was kind of strange. Connor Henry's going to go for on the uh, on the call here, I think, and uh, tripping will be the call. I guess he wanted that puck, and now the horn will sound, and that's going to do it. Interesting way to end the game here. 4-2 final score, Fairfield Prep victorious over Don Bosco Prep. Well, it was great to see two different teams come together, one from Jersey, one from Connecticut, and, and battle out here in front of us uh, this evening. 4-2 win for Fairfield Prep, and, you know, they, they have to be excited for where they stand right now. They Don, they are just moving right along, plowing through their schedule, and uh, they've gotten some lucky wins. The puck has bounced their way at times, but a solid win here today, no doubt about it. The 4-2 victory in Fairfield Prep, you know, will move right along, and uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we see them later down the line. I know I'm getting ahead of myself here at Ingles Rink for the state championship, and for this Don Bosco team, you know, I'm sure they'll, they'll go back to Jersey and continue their winning ways and, and be a team come postseason time down there in the state of Jersey that uh, will be in the mix as well. All right, Fairfield Prep improves to 11-0 and 11-5-3, the magic numbers right now for Don Bosco. Step aside, back with the postgame comments right after these messages on CPTV Sports. <laughs>